Hey everyone, Deadline here, and it's that time again. Wipe is almost here. As you can see, we're coming up on a wipe right in August here, 2023. And we have a bunch of new features added to the game, but uh, yeah, it's that time. Time for a new season of Hardcore Tarkov. Uh, rules and everything else coming right up. All right, so we have a bunch of new features, the loadout presets, all that stuff. I can let you guys read this. This is their this is their uh, roadmap for uh, wipe. I'm not sure what patches it's going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to be 13.2 or if this is 14. I'm pretty sure this is 13.2, and this December wipe behind me is going to be patch 14. I think that's how they're playing it. But we have a lot of new cool new stuff coming. Uh, lots of new hideouts. So not a lot. Lots of new. A couple new hideout things coming. Uh, new guns, new equipment, streets expansion, new boss, which we're going to see in just a second, and uh, quest rebalancing. They did this really cool thing at the end of this wipe where the top leaderboards got two spaces added to their stash, and there's this whole crazy quest line to actually add stuff to your stash. We weren't anywhere close to that, so I decided not to reboot Season 5 to get that. This season, however, if they do that again, we will be certainly trying for it. Um, I'm hoping that this season does actually go through to the end of the wipe uh, with the success of last season, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to keep going. So let's hop over to the rules. Just get those out of the way real quick. They're very similar to Season 5's. There's there's Kaban there, the new uh, new Streets boss rocking the new gun. That's a base. That's a fully automatic Mosin, for, if you're curious, as an LMG form. But here we go. So the rules. If you're not familiar with Hardcore Tarkov, they're very. it's relatively straightforward. Delete your starting inventory, okay? For us, that includes your pouch container. No pouch container, you got to buy your first pouch container okay so that's one two container rules my container rules are i can put anything i want from the stash into the container once i have one um but i cannot loot into it if you take it out in the raid can't put it back in simple as that so we can put keys in there from the raid you can put basic meds some ammo stuff like that um rule three is also very straightforward no insurance rule four no after raid healing uh except for after death the after death is just to speed up for streaming purposes, not necessarily for recording purposes, because I could theoretically go walk away, let the stash heal me. So it's just a time saver. Um, and the after death means if I do limp out of a raid, I do have to spend some meds. So it's not easy and, and free. So no after raid healing after, except after death. It's just an easy one. Okay, so this is where the big changes for our personal playthrough from last season are coming. So the, the classic no purchasing from dealers and no flea market are still still apply. Uh, you can still buy special items. You can still buy any cases and containers. Barters are allowed. Um, and added a rule of I, any item that cannot be sold to any dealer can be sold on the flea. We, we had an instance last season where we found a violet key card and the dealer stopped taking them. So we, we agreed to sell it on the flea for as much as we, um, for what the therapists would buy. But I'm just going to make the rule, get the max amount. If you find something that cannot be sold to any of the dealers, being able to sell it to the on the flea makes sense to me personally. And if we find something like a red key card, we should get all the money for it. You know, we should get it's that's a rare Tarkov event, not just a hardcore Tarkov event. So that's there. You'll notice though, the usual rule of you can buy currencies is not on that list. So you are not allowed to buy currencies from dealers anymore in this playthrough. No dollars, no euros. Um, which will become evident for rule number six, which we have new scav rules. So Scav rules are allowed under these two circumstances. You've deleted 500 euros from your stash. Remember, you can no longer buy euros, so you have to find all 500 in raid. Um, there are raiders can have 500 to 1,000, I think, in their pockets. That's the only instance I know of getting all 500 at once, and that's worthwhile. You killed a raider. Totally worthwhile. Um, but you're going to be getting minimalistics of these. Usually, you just skip euros. Completely skip them. Um, so I wanted to add a use to them. I was trying to think of figure out a dollar amount for this. The thing is you can sell the peacekeeper for, for this. You don't sell to anybody for euros. So I wanted to have it be a currency that you could get in raid that you couldn't sell to a dealer to farm by selling items. You can farm it obviously by going to safes and stuff. So, and then the other rule is you have to have an active fence test. So if you complete your fence test, no more scav runs. Now I plan on using these to warm up, do a few things, maybe loot, maybe loot a little bit, but having scav runs to break up the monotony of playing tarkov is really important <laughs> it's really important and because i'm playing hardcore the entire wipe i'm not playing a main account not adding those scav runs back in is uh is pretty good and in previous seasons um uh, like when they added scav karma we made up a whole elaborate rule system when you couldn't couldn't scav run all that stuff that was fun but i wanted to keep it really simple for this wipe so 
that's the that's the basic rules of this wipe. That's why I landed on. I, we were we discussed it last uh, last wipe or last season, um, and all of these rules are subject to change. So we might add in some different circumstances, or if we come up with a better idea, or if there's, they might change the dealers on us. They might change how the dealers interact with us. They might change different quest progressions. We don't really know. So if there's something wild or you know coming out of left field, we might have to change these rules on the fly, and that's okay. Um, Classic rule, pouch container abuses hands. That just means if you have a pouch container and you go in naked, this doesn't apply to us very much because by the time we get the pouch container, usually we're running with a bag every time. But you can pick up a juice and drink the juice out of your pouch container. That's allowed. But it's just a caveat. Probably not going to happen. Um, no outside help, of course. So what that just means basically no message items. So items that you get via message that are not found in raid. So when you get task rewards, they are found in raid from, from Prapper, for example. His quest rewards will be found in raid. His Christmas gift will be not found in raid. So you can use the found in raid items and vice versa and, and not vice versa. But that's it. Those are the rules. And, of course, all this will be available uh, at Dead Pine FPS, which is the channel you're watching on right now. This image will be up as a link in my chat. Um, so you can tr track along, use that. I'll also have the text document there. There's like one or two extra sentences on there. Um, but the loose goals, I think it'd be kind of cool to get two extra stash spaces for next next wipe. I think that would be a really cool goal to hit. I don't know how hard that'll be, but um, and we'd have to wait till late late wipe. But yeah, I think that would be a, that'd be a pretty cool goal goal to hit, especially in a hardcore account. It's such a big deal in a hardcore account and an alpha account or sorry, uh, a regular account. I guess they're alpha accounts. Um, but yeah, that would be a really really cool goal to hit. Um, and just general progression. You know, we made it to epsilon in the last one, I think. Did we? No, we were missing two SVDS skills. We were close to Epsilon. Usually I make it to Epsilon. I want to go past that. I would love to go past that. We're going to be hitting this really hard. Um, as the recording of this video, this is um, August 9th. It could wipe as soon as tomorrow. But people are suspecting the 10th. Might be the 11th. But I'm going to post this video as soon as it's done processing. So it'll be sometime after this video. But I just want to get everybody up to speed on the rules video, the rules text, uh, the goals which are, yeah, like I said, just get as late as we can. Um, I do plan on doing some more live streams. Maybe we hit some particular sub goals, um, maybe like every 250 or every 500 subs on YouTube. So make sure you're subbing to the channel. Um, we'll do some live stream celebrations. That'll be part of the playthrough, but they will be like longer streams. They'll be four hour sessions instead of the usual hour to an hour and a half that we do uh, while we're streaming on Twitch and cut them up, you know? Um, so yeah, sub to the channel. Season six is here. I'm really excited. I hope you are too. Um, I really like the rules. I like keeping the rules simple. I like keeping the rules simple. Playing this is basically playing Survival Tarkov. This is a really good series if you're new to Tarkov. We're going to be playing very basic, very slow, very survival-based Tarkov. It's not going to be the bang, 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 efficient, you blink, and I'm already level 42 type of Tarkov. It's very slow, very grindy, and it's a lot of fun. It's really good at teaching spots for new players, so hopefully you'll join me in this season. Uh, along, Watch along. There'll be playlists for sure. Uh, check out the Twitch channel and all that stuff and more. So thanks for tuning in the rules video. We'll see you in the wipe.